Signs in Tehran and rhetorics from Iranian officials are different from what we used to see before. Now, they actually are thinking about nuclear weapon. And you know, from technical point of view, it's not complicated for them to do. Last week, senior advisor to Iranian Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei told Al Jazeera, in a few days, we are able to enrich uranium up to 60% and we can easily produce 90% enriched uranium. Iran has the technical means to produce a nuclear bomb, but there has been no decision by Tehran to build one. He continued, the United States has not provided guarantees on preserving the nuclear deal, and this ruins the possibility of any agreement. Any targeting of our security from neighboring countries will be met with direct response to the countries and Israel. His opinion that if Iran does not get what it wants from the nuclear deal, may well choose to go nuclear, is the most valid and recent governmental opinion in Tehran. There is a feeling among Iranian elites and officials that the West, especially US, will never give up on putting pressure on Islamic Republic of Iran and such a deal as proposed by the United States won't bring the necessary economic benefits. So they simply prefer not to sign it. And also they believe in this new situation where Russia and China are also involved in various confrontations with the United States, this is enough for them to survive. This might not be what many people, especially younger generations, see and want inside Iran. But this is what the government sees and this is what happens. So from their point of view, now is the time to change the game. They believe that they have been antagonized for decades for what they really did not want to and repeatedly expressed their dissatisfaction. Now that they are sure there could be no economic benefit and they have the technical capability and the international power balance is changing, they could do it. As said Ehud Barak, the former Prime Minister of Israel some days ago, Iran now has enough highly enriched uranium for one nuclear device and the technology to make it a weapon. In 2018, they were some 17 months away from that threshold. Today, they are probably just 17 days away, and it's too late to even stop it. Today, I watched a video on most of Iranian news outlets that were talking about a project, a secret project called Emad. Based on this video, Iran has enough IR-6 centrifuges inside the Fordo infrastructure in mountainous region in center of this country to go nuclear in a short amount of time if needed or if attacked by Israel. It says this is a heavily guarded and strong center and even could survive a nuclear attack. These reports and announcements are in the first place a warning to prevent Israel from attacking and a threat to US for not reaching a deal. But if things continue to go on like this, they will finally carry out this project as there is no other way left. Considering the fact that the Iranian ICBM is also ready, as we discussed it in another video, this move could be a direct threat not only to Israel, but even to the US, and it could also totally change the power balance in Middle East. We have to wait and see how much Tel Aviv and Washington are taking this possibility serious. If you like this video, don't hesitate to check out other videos on similar issues on my channel. And don't forget to subscribe and share.